In this video, I will be talking about how we can integrate Azure Speech Service with Lewis. So Lewis is short for Language Understanding Service and it is an AI based service wherein we can create our models and we can use the predefined or pre-built models also. So the use case which I am considering today is to recognize the intent of the lines spoken by the user using the mic. And when I'm saying intent, so intent is something the user wants to do. It could be like checking a weather, it could be booking a table in a restaurant, it could be making a call, it could be booking a flight, or it could be like anything which user wants to do. And user can use whatever terms feel natural to him and using machine learning, Lewis maps user request to the intents that we have defined. So let's quickly have a look how we can execute this entire flow. So I am first of all, browsing the Lewis portal. So it is lewis.ai. It will take few seconds. Okay, so when it is, once it is open, you can, it may ask you for login if you're doing it for the first time and you have to use the same Azure credentials. So you have to use the same credentials which you have used for login into Azure portal. Okay, so this is the first screen you will get once you have logged in and here you need to select the Azure subscription. Here you can select the authoring resource, but if you are doing it for the first time, you can click on create a new authoring resource. Okay, so here you need to select the subscription and the resource group. So resource group, I have already created in my Azure portal, so it is appearing for me. Here you need to provide the resource name. So we can give any name like Ruiz Intent recognizer let's give it this name and the location i am taking west us so these are the only regions which are available as of now for lewis so you can go ahead with the one which is very close to you so i am selecting west us now it is creating an account and it should not take more than few seconds okay so next thing we need to do is we have created the authoring resource. Next, we need to create an app. So click on new app and here you need to provide the name of your app. So I would say recognizer app. Culture you can choose, description is optional and the prediction resource, you can do it later also. If you have one, you can choose it. So right now we are doing it for the first time. So it is not showing anything. So let's click on done. Okay, I will close this. And to keep this uh, first video simple, I'm going to use the inbuilt model so, or pre-built domain model. So these are the models which are already available. So let's go and choose weather. Click on add domain. So it is saying it is added. Now let's go back to intents. So once the model is added, you will see that all the intents are automatically added. Similarly, all the entities are added. So these are the entities which are pre-built for the weather. And you can even open one of these. And you can see that these are the various natural language sentences which are given, which usually and even used to talk about temperature, like what's the temperature, what's the Chicago's temperature, what is it? So, and here they have identified what all the entities are. So these Celsius temperature, these are the entities and what type of entity it is showing in the blue color here. So it is the entity which is weather condition. Celsius is an entity which is like temperature is an entity which is Celsius as an example. So once this is done, we need to train the model first. It may take some time here so although it is pre-built but if you want you can add more intents and more entities here click on test and we'll quickly do a round of testing so let's see what is the weather of Florida and you can see that it is giving check weather value. This is the intent which is having confidence score of 0.99. So this is what we are going to do using our C-sharp code. Okay, now next thing I need to go and publish it. So let's take production slot, 
speech priming i will do it will increase enhance the performance we don't want to do sentiment analysis so let's click on done okay so once app is published you can go to manage and you will see that the app id is generated over here and there are published settings as well as your resources so you can see that the authoring resource is created with this name and primary key and secondary key are generated with the endpoint url so now another thing is the prediction resource so there are two kind of resources as it is mentioned over here so authoring and the prediction prediction resource so authoring is used for authoring publishing and managing uh, the model which is there and to versioning also whereas whenever we want to use it in our application then we need prediction resource key because we are going to use it to predict something so here you need to add this prediction resource so it is not already there so i will quickly go ahead and add it resource group i am selecting the same and here you can give name prediction resource and intent recognition and vest click on done okay so there was a, a tier also which i didn't select so by default it take f0 as the free one okay so we are almost done with our lewis part next thing is we need to go to Azure portal and create an instance of speech service. The reason why we are creating it because we want user to speak and then we will extract the text out of it. So for that purpose, we need an instance of a speech service. So click on create. Here you need to furnish all these required details, resource group you need to select, the region which is very close to you, you need to provide the name instance of the speech service and then you need to select the pricing tier. Once all these fields are populated, click on review plus create. Doing so will create an instance which will have its key and the endpoints. Okay, so we are almost done with our configuration part. Next thing is we need to create, uh, build our application. So for building an application, I have opened up an empty console application, which is like based on, sorry, which is uh, .NET Core based. And the very first thing we need to do here is we need to pull in the required dependencies. So for that, I'm using NuGet Package Manager. So click here, click on Browse and search for Microsoft Cognitive Services dot speech. So this is the one which we need to install. Okay, so I will quickly go ahead and add this depend add this dependency. Okay, now the very first thing what we need to do is we need to first of all read text from Mike and second thing, second thing which we need to do is we need to get the intent. So, read intent. Okay, so the first part we will be using speech API. So let me quickly go ahead and create a function. So I'm going to create a private function, which would be async and it will return the string or the text which is spoken by the user. So let me add this dependency first okay now here uh, we are not doing any much of error handling rather we can just go ahead and write the prerequisite line or the only lines which are actually required so here we want user to say speak now so once it is there we need to create an okay so let me start from here 
Okay, so first of all, we need to create the configuration object which will hold the speech configuration related uh, data. So I'm going to create a configuration and it would be speech config and that we are doing using subscription. So in subscription, it is expecting key as well as region. So let me put placeholders as of now. And next we need to do is we need to create the intent recognizer instance. So that we can do recognizer equal to new and intent recognizer is a class. So probably I need to add a reference here dot intent. Okay, so this will give me intent recognizer class. which will take config as a parameter. Okay, I will put it in the using block so that we need not to worry about disposing the resources. So once this is done, first thing we need to do is we need to ask user to speak something in the mic. So this is the line doing that and next I'm going to make a call await recognizer dot recognize once async okay and here we can quickly check if result dot region reason is equals to result reason dot so there are many reasons which you need to handle when you are actually developing a production application but here I am simply going with recognized speech so if this is done then we will quickly go ahead and return this text return result dot text and if something is wrong then we can print some error message so error message we can see speech could not be recognized so let me type it here okay so we are done with this method next we need to read data from the lowest okay now before that we can complete this so speech configuration requires key and the region next i need to define an another method which will read intent so for that Let's create another private method, private static, and again it would be asynchronous. And here we are returning the JSON response. So, so the first parameter it would take is the prediction key. Second parameter it would take is the prediction endpoint. Then it will take the app ID, uh, which is from the Lewis. All these are parameters are for the Lewis. And then we need the text or the input, which we need to search as an intent. Okay, so let me quickly go ahead and create the HTTP client object. We need to add the dependency here. Okay, then we need to handle the query string so I will just write query and inside that I will pass it empty because here we need a key value pair and that's the reason we are creating we are using HTTP utility okay so I will quickly give try catch through we can leave it empty as of now and then first of all we need to do is we need to add the default headers which is OCP key and here it will take value as prediction key okay now quickly fetch the query and here we need to supply the query Okay, to reduce the confusion, I will make it as query string. 
and I will make it a query string. And here this query would take text which was given by the user and then we will have a prediction endpoint URI. We need to create that prediction endpoint URI. So this is the endpoint where we are going to make a call. Okay, so this is the URI where we are going to make a call. Next thing is we need to go and just grab the response. And for that we need to make a call using our client object. And here it will take prediction endpoint URI. Okay, so we are almost done. The only thing remaining is we need to extract the response out of it so i will create response variable over here and await response dot content dot read as string async and we'll go ahead and return this Okay, so we are done with our both the methods. One thing which is remaining is this and then we need to make a call to this API. So let's quickly make a call first. So the return would be the string and then get text from Mike. So it is not taking any parameters and call wait. And then I need to Okay, result, sorry. Okay, and here I need to grab the response from the get intents. So we need to pull in all these data. So let me quickly go to my portal. So first thing I'm going to pick is my key. This key, I'm going to place it over here. Then I will grab region, which is West US. I'm going to place it over here. So this part is done. Next is we need to grab some more things from the lowest. So prediction key, we need to grab. So prediction, then go to this primary key. We need to paste it over here. And next is prediction endpoint. So this is the endpoint URL. Then it is asking for app ID. So for app ID, go to settings and copy this one. And then is the text. So this is the same text which we received from about statement. And once this is done, uh, the last thing which we need to do is we need to just print the output. Okay, so Let's go ahead and try this out. <laughs> What's the weather in Florida? Okay, so it's executed and let's see. Ah, it is not working as expected. So it is saying that something is missed in the integration. So let me try with another statement. What is the weather in Redmond? Okay, so again, so let me quickly check this out. What's wrong with this? Okay, so one thing we forgot to do and that is when we created the this prediction resource after that we didn't publish our app. So that thing was pending and I'm doing it now. So publishing is done. Now it, if we will run our app, it would work. Before starting, I will quickly put result here also because this is again our async. So 
let me run it this time what is the weather in florida okay so we got the output let me maximize it a bit okay so this is the text which i just spoke what is the weather in florida and it predicted and it is saying the top intent is check weather value because we are saying what is the weather so it is falling under this particular intent check weather value and it has a confidence score of 0.93 the entities which are like impacted or part of this particular query is geography because we are talking about the value florida here so this is how it works let me quickly take another example how to convert celsius to fahrenheit okay so okay probably i spoke before it started so it just picked this one convert celsius to fahrenheit and here the intent if you will see it is change temperature unit this time and this is the top intent and it is having a value of 0.9964 the entities are temperature and the number and the geography and it is saying so you can see that it is very much close to 100 point i mean it's close to one so it means the model which is pre-built uh, with weather intense and weather intense uh, it is able to work with the what we are speaking over here so i hope you enjoyed this session and you understand how to integrate lewis with speech sdk or the speech apis in my next video, I will try to cover the same thing using our custom model wherein we will create our application in Lewis from scratch. So till then, keep watching.